What's going on, y'all? Greg, Greg said it. Back with another one here. Shout out to all the, the supporters, the subscribers. Thanks for y'all support and following this channel here. You know, this off season is, is very different. We don't know what to expect from day to day. And of course, it's not a stick and the, uh, it's drama filled as the regular season. And I think for the most part, all we usually have, you know, what we have right now is a lot of speculation. And that mostly comes from the well off and reach the people. And that's what we had from the beginning. That's what we all really. That's what makes Colorado unique is that that inside access, because I, imagine if we didn't have that. We wouldn't know what was going on. The only thing we would have is the regular season and the games like everybody else. But we we go year round because we always get some interesting things to watch. And, you know, I can't help but to think about Colorado's all season right now, being that you're not really running plays, you're not out there with the coaches and you're kind of training. We see the tone has been set on a team like, we see the the level of intensity and the the theme of we're not going to be four and eight again. We're not going to lose again. And the new players don't want to be a part of it. And they, and they kind of holding the old players foot to the fire. That's why y'all was this way. The coaches are reminding them. And nobody really wants to be that. Like Nobody wants to go down that path again, especially people with ambition. And like I said, it's, it's a, it's, it's not hard to notice that, I mean, we've seen them last year, even at JSU, they, they had a typical thing. Coach Moe's known for up, down, and you to death. That's a typical football thing. And doing the drills, the, the sequence drills, and and just the, the, the mental exercises. And we've seen it kind of last year, but we kind of know why. That that level of discipline and focus is needed when you look at a team that was penalized. I don't think it was all their fault, but they were penalized exceptionally more than everybody else. And we've seen the mental mistakes of missed blocks. And again, that could have been the scheme and coaching, but they put a lot of emphasis and focus on, hey, we are not gonna go out that way again. So I noticed that like, we can see the leaders kind of stepping up. We can see who's more vocal we can see who's more uh, aggressive, who's more passive, and especially with the new guys, like we seeing who who's stepping up to fill those shoes, and we definitely see people like Benson. He's he's become that character, especially on the old line, who's always up front and speaking out. We of course we see Shane Coates. He's still speaking out, like um, pretty much like he did last year. He was a leader. He had the L on his chest, and we just noticed that. This is real serious. I said somebody say Travis even wasn't playing out there. He got serious when, you know, you keep making those mistakes. But it gets everybody on the same page, and it, it teaches, teaches them to kind of have a more focused, more disciplined approach to when they get out there on the field. Because, you know, you don't want to get out there lack of days of playing around and, and kind of have mental lapses. You got to take it serious. And they're definitely keeping their feet to the fire when it comes to that. And one thing that stood out, People was surprised and they kind of like throwing it back at people when they coach prime put Shiloh out the line and said, Get in the back of the end zone. And you know, this is a, Shiloh's what this is like his sixth year. I think last year was like his had to be about his fifth year. He did two years, did one year at at Carolina, he did two years at Jackson State, and I think last year was his would have been his senior year. He might have did, did he do? Let's go look. I think he did a red shirt year at at um South Carolina. But either way, this is a guy who's a veteran and Coach Prime's son. And everybody's talking like, how did he, you know, put him back there? You know, I guess there's no favoritism now. And people are like, oh, people forget that Coach Prime benched Shallow in the SWAT championship game that last season for being a few minutes late. And there's no excuses at all. It may, it may have been legit, but he didn't meet the, the requirements. And he benched him. He started safety. And um, one of his key players. And and that just shows you, you know, Coach Prime definitely stick by his rules. Is it 100%? I don't know. But that is his son. That is a key player. 
and he was messing up and he put him out. So that kind of goes kind of goes against that favoritism thing that people say that he had. Because I mean that 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 hit at every point, right? So it's just interesting to see how how the team is going about right now, the intensity and who's emerging. And it's going to be even better when they put that equipment on to see who's going to step up and who's going to get ran off because they're going to either get ran off by the intensity of the situation or they're going to get ran off by the culture that they're pretty much not going to allow them to play. And that's where we are right now. We watch day to day. You know, we see the little Valentines and the little jokes and everything. But I think right now we really get a chance to get an insight of the tone and the character of the players and the team. Because that's important because we see last year that that timid, soft thing that we saw really became an issue. It became an issue when people became aggressive and kind of bullied our, our, our players around last year on that O-line and how they was hitting the quarterback and getting away with it. And people just felt like they can try them. And, 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 and they wasn't going to, like, how I say, retaliate or wasn't going to put them in their place. And... It looks like these new guys not going for it. And I think that all starts on the practice field. It starts on how they interact with each other and the standard they set to say, hey, if you're going to be around here, this is how things going to go. If you're running with us, you're, going, you're not going to have that little soft mentality. They they, they, they kind of like pushing people around and toughening certain people up. Let them know, hey, you running with us, you, you're going to have to, you know, <laughs> grow some hair on your chest or whatever. And and the, I see that kind of like with the linemen joking around and playing around with certain linemen and, and how they, they how they you know check them you know on the field is creating a different kind of tone. But that's what I noticed. Like you know it's like it's a slow time, but I pay attention to the detail and that kind of you know those situations give me a good idea of what the season can look like by the energy by the by the culture that's being established right now. Let me know what y'all think in, in the comments here. I'm Greg. Greg said it. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all soon.